What's up everyone? I hope you all are doing good. Quickly just putting the camera up. There we go. Today I've got a very, very exciting video for you guys. We are going to check out the quarter mile of my A4 Quattro. Don't expect anything crazy because I only got stage one on a cone filter, blower valve, dump valve, GT30 something turbo. No, I'm just kidding. No, no bigger turbo running the stock standard KO3 turbo, but all the other stuff is there. So for this run, I'm not going to be using anything like a draggy or these OBD devices or just the location from the satellites and stuff. I'm actually going to use VCDS. Yes, that's right. I love my VCDS. How VCDS works is, it's actually going to take the rotation of the wheel to calculate 400 meters. How cool is that? But if you have got different wheels on your car, let's say for example, you've got smaller wheels on, obviously per rotation, you're going to have less of a distance. So what's going to happen is, is you think you actually drove 400 meters, but actually you drove 380 meters or 350 meters for all we know so at the end of the day your time's going to be inaccurate and stuff so just make sure you okay obviously you can't make sure that your right wheel size is on because your car speedometer is actually calibrated to your wheel size especially in audi believe it or not that is crazy even if your wheel is smaller it might actually show that you're accelerating faster than you're actually going crazy to think about it so are we gonna go quickly to vcds and sort this out Wait, 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 wait. Before we continue, I first got to apologize. I am so sorry for the little uploads recently. I'm really trying to upload. Uh, you guys might not see we're actually moved into a new house now. So it really delayed everything. We had to repaint the house. We had to do so many things, move all our stuff. And now we're actually busy fixing up the old place so we can sell it. I mean, it is crazy. And then I still have to, still got my full-time job and all of these things. So don't worry. The uploads will become more constant hopefully i'm trying to at least to go one a week which i think is pretty cool which is pretty good enough but today was the blast i know i'm going a bit off topic i actually swimmed with the the dogs and as you guys can see i hope you guys can see i got scratched real good when the dogs were swimming with me <laughs> okay enough talking let's get to vcds first thing we gotta do is go to select control module and then we're going to say engine. On some cars, you might actually get the vehicle speed sensor on the transmission. But in my Audi, it is in the engine area. So now quickly, VCDS is trying to connect to the computer. Once it has like successfully, damn it, where did my words go? <laughs> Once it has successfully connected to the computer, we're going to go over here to advanced measurement values. And we are going to type in vehicle speed. There we go. Do know that this is not the engine RPMs. Let me show you. There's a vehicle speed and then there is a engine speed. Engine speed is the rotation of your engine. As you guys can see per minute and this is zero to a hundred well zero kilometers per hour. So what we're going to say is we are going to say acceleration. So this is where all the magic happens. So you're on the left hand side. Sorry guys. Um, I am kilometers per hour. I've got no idea how miles per hour works. <laughs> so here we got zero to a hundred. We've got our quarter mile time. We've got an additional one. So what I'm going to say is let's say zero to, or no, let's, let's pass it up. hundred to 150 this will be interesting and then we got 200 meters so this is our own uh, meters we can put in or i think you guys put in feet for the people in us in america sorry <laughs> so yeah you can actually put in a kilometer half a mile and etc and etc so all we're going to do is we're going to go to a safe area guys please we need a road of 400 meters it's got to be safe no traffic being safe for you is not the only concern. You gotta make it safe for other people as well. So you're gonna find one of these deserted places which is safe enough to drive on and obviously it should not harm anybody else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the road, we're gonna click start and then we go. So I need to tell you guys something before we start, right? Let me just come in a bit. My Audi is actually having a small problem with its launch. Sometimes it won't launch. It's like the limp, the, the gearbox goes into limp mode. Oh, I just switched off my car. Hopefully that didn't do any problems. Just for safety, I quickly went 
just close it up, open it uh, up again, just make sure all my values and everything is correct. I just don't want to get there, do my quarter mile, and then I never uh, read it. So just keep your car on. Make sure you just quick. You don't want your car to overheat, but once again, you want your car to reach its normal temperatures before you actually accelerate that hard. So yes, as I was telling you guys, my car has got a problem when I want to launch. Sometimes it's like the car is in limp mode. It doesn't want to launch them more than 2000 RPMs, which is so freaking annoying because I can imagine myself one hour on a race, I'm standing there at the robot, here comes a, a who knows, a Focus ST or a Porsche or something you're in next to me and I'm like, oh, 2000 RPM launch. When I launch at 2000 RPMs, it is Dead. The turbo only kicks in here at 2.8 I think. So you guys can imagine it's like normal aspirated for 10 minutes before the boost kicks in. So hopefully we're not going to have that problem. I'm going to try to like start, stop, go, ref, see what I can do to get it back in. I did actually try to play around with it. It, it feels actually to me I should put my car off. I should put it on, put it in sports mode, put my traction control off and brake. A brake until it's really stiff and then try to launch. For some reason it feels like it's working. I mean, what a weird thing I gotta do to get my car to launch. So now I'm just talking too much. Let's go to the road. All right, let's hope it's gonna launch. I'm gonna click start. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. My car is shifting very early today. Okay. I think that should have been it. I pushed it till about 160. Yes, we got our data. All right, let me just quickly slow down, uh, get to a safe spot, and we're gonna we're gonna quickly revise that data. This doesn't look right to me. I got an average of 15.4. So that that is crazy at 143 kilometers per hour. Um, they said my zero to 100 is 7.5 seconds. That is horrible. I was hoping that it was going to be at around 6.9, but my I think my car did bog. So one of the problems of actually trying to use VCDS to check your quarter mile is that you can't actually check your RPMs and all those things to make sure everything was fine. But today is super warm, guys. I'm having like 32 degrees Celsius. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly try to run again and see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to try something different now. I'm going to click start. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get the RPMs to go up till about 4K on its sweep. I'm gonna launch. I'm not gonna wait for it to hit 4K, but I'm gonna try to get it as close to 4K as possible. So I'm quickly pumping up the brakes. There we go. Okay, that was a very bad shift from one to two. It was hesitating a lot. Come on, baby. Come on, give me a 14. All right, so I'm gonna quickly slow down. Oh my word, that was also horrible. 15.5, that is even worse. What is going on? I'm not gonna lie. I think my car is hitting major, major retardation because I can literally feel somewhere between 4,000 to 5,000 RPMs. My car is actually literally not even kidding. It's, it feels like it's lumping, you understand? It, it's like, Something's not right and it's pulling timing or something like I can feel there Something is standing in the way of just keeping pushing through that performance, but I mean it is literally 32 degrees today so um, Another thing that I noticed is usually my car shifts at 6,000 rpms. I haven't done a TCU tune yet So it should shift at like 7.2 according to like with my 1.8 turbo which was manual Could have pushed it till 7.2 even if I do a DSG tune it's also about 7 to 7.2 7,200 RPMs. So yeah, this car is really restricted at this moment. It feels like it bogs at 4,000 as well. So it's like pulling away, but then it dips first, like it's out of boost and then it picks up boost, if that makes any sense. So I'm highly disappointed. This guy just has to stop. There we go. So I'm very, very disappointed on my time. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe in the like really early mornings I should try again because the road that I was at was is like a really secured safe uh, what do you call it road so maybe when the temperature is a little bit in my side it will go a bit better but 
I am so sorry guys. I am so disappointed in a 15.5. This car should, I, this car's goal is to get it in a 10 seconds. It should touch 10 seconds, if not go past 10 seconds and maybe touch the nine seconds. But that's very far from now. I still have to forge the entire motor. I've got so much planned with this Audi. Anyway guys, sorry for the shaking. There we go, I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. At least you guys saw now how the VCDS quarter mile works. Uh, maybe you guys can go and try it out yourself. It seems to be pretty accurate because both of them were like 15.4, 15.5 my zero to 100 was 7.7 .7. oh my word if i could have just done my dsg let me just put the aircon on oh my word today is so freaking hot so if i could have only done my dsg tuning maybe i could have launched at 5000 rpms which sounds a lot but because of this bog it is just crazy bad crazy crazy bad car is shifting at like 5.5 uh so yeah it's horrible me with all my excuses, my car sucks, it's slow. Thank you for watching, see you guys in my next video. Peace out.